this is Michelle Knight and this is the astrological update for Taurus for the week starting New Year's Eve. Well, we've made it, we've pushed through to 2013 where all sorts of possibilities are there for us. We are here to evolve our consciousness and we have stepped through to the next level. For you, something very important is happening on New Year's Eve. Well, for all of us, actually, because the sun is conjunct Pluto, Lord of Transformation, and it's giving us a big boot up the bottom and telling us it's time to change. And if you don't change, I will force change upon you. Now, scary as that sounds, for you, it's a very positive thing because you've got it in the position of adventure and changing your philosophy. You might step into 2013 knowing that this is the year that you're going to adventure, that you're going to try things you've never tried before, that you're going to open up your heart to new experiences. And in fact, interestingly, it may slightly distract you from getting on with what you need to get on with in connection to your work. And that's because the moon is trining Pluto and wanting you to experience pleasure and adventure and joyful delights. Nothing wrong with that. However, it does distract you from marching in, focusing on your career. But I would enjoy the delights if I were you. There is on the second a T-square, which is saying to you, OK, your heart and your soul may be saying you've got a higher calling, that you feel there's something that you need to do. There are certain people that you feel the need to communicate with, or you're discovering new ideas that you never thought existed. You may be listening to something inspiring, or you may stumble across a new concept which blows your mind and opens you up. But there is a part of you that is also distracted. Don't get caught up in the idea. Get caught up in making whatever ideas are floating your boat into a concrete reality. Now, Jupiter, the Lord of Transformation and Good Fortune, or transformation through good fortune, which is good news, it expands your awareness, is trining Mars in the 10th of your career. You do, by the time you get to the third, suddenly get your energy back, your va 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 voom, your drive to push forward in a big idea, to change this year, to become what you want to become when it comes to your career, and to be who you are and speak from your very soul when it comes to your work. There is a grand air trine which really helps you as well because it shows you a way forward when it comes to your finances and it says to you, look at the tiny details, be very emotionally focused on the small stuff and you should break through a doorway onto the next level career-wise. Now, we end the week with a double yod, another pesky yod out of nowhere. And this is Saturn and the Moon conjunct in a position of relationship. So there's a part of you that could, at the beginning of this year, feel much more grounded where it comes to love. And that's not necessarily an external experience. It might not be that, you know, somebody, you're with someone and you feel totally secure, but more importantly, you feel secure within yourself. And so when relationships come around, or if you're in a relationship, because you've shifted and you feel more confident in yourself, you're able to open up and go forward. You're cutting out the dead wood in your life. You're letting go of people that have held you back. You're stepping into the new, a confident, beautiful person in your own right with no one to hold you back. And that's very important for you this year. You can love, but you do it with deep security in your heart. Now, Pluto and Mercury and Uranus are all wanting you to go on a journey. But Jupiter is saying, OK, that's fine. Have an adventure, but keep your feet on the ground. Don't forget you're a Taurus. Make sure that you're still digging your foundations correctly and then you can have all the fun you like. This should be a very interesting year, a year that expands you. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.